guys and welcome back to my youtube channel today's video is a very exciting one because it is finally that time of the year it is time for the sephora savings event now this is my favorite time of the year because you get to buy all of my favorite products and i get to save a little bit as well the sephora savings event will have started on the 28th and it will run all the way up until the 7th so depending on what tier you're in this is a tiered system you will be able to save a little bit on your purchase and everyone will be able to receive 30 percent off on all sephora collection items and before i chat any further i do want to say that this video is sponsored by sephora which is like the coolest thing ever i mean this is like one of the stores that i shop at the most i think i think a lot of us do so this is it's a really proud moment for me but anyways i have picked out some of my favorite skincare products makeup products some other like little miscellaneous items that are not only my favorites but i think would be amazing purchases to pick up during the sephora savings event and before we get started don't forget to subscribe as i would love to have you guys join the family i will also leave my instagram up here for you guys to follow along but anyways let's get into it as i mentioned i have broken the video up into different categories so i have skincare makeup and kind of some more miscellaneous items that way it's a little bit easier to follow along but i'm gonna start with skincare because it's my favorite and i think skincare is so important so let's start off with skincare <laughs> now the first two items are one that have been a game changer in my skincare routine now i've never been a devil cleansing gal but i have changed so the dermalogica special cleansing gel and the dermalogica pre-cleanse have completely changed the way that I wash my face both morning and night. This is my first step in my evening skincare. This is gonna take off all of my SPF, all of my makeup. It is so easy to use. It has a very clean fragrance to it, very light. And again, I do this in the shower, which makes it a breeze. Um, once I finish up with this, I will follow along with my special cleansing gel. This is really nice, very gentle. Um, it lathers up really, really nicely. Just gets everything off of my face. Honestly, I could not recommend this enough. I have always kind of gone through so many different types of cleansers and these two have changed the game. Worth every penny, in my opinion. <laughs> kind of going along with the cleansing aspect of our skincare. I have two um, exfoliants. Now, I've always been afraid of exfoliants, but honestly, they have really changed the game. So I have two here because I think it's really important to find the exfoliant that works for your face, but I have two favorites. The first one is the Dermalogica Daily Microfoliant. This one is gonna be great for most skin types. It's a little bit rougher, but it's still gonna be gentle on my face. Again, I use this probably about every other day. And when I tell you that this gets rid of my redness, it is crazy. It's kind of counterintuitive. You would never assume that exfoliants are gonna help with redness, but um, it really, really does. It's crazy. Um, and then obviously it's gonna target any like texture on my skin. Um, it's really, really wonderful. Now, some days my skin gets a little bit sensitive and on those days, I honestly, I would prefer something a little bit gentler. So on those days, I use the daily milk foliant, this one hardly feels like an exfoliant. It's so gentle on the skin, super, super hydrating. I've had a few people ask me about the scent of this. It is not the nicest fragrance, I will say, but it does wonders for my skin, so I tolerate the smell of it. I mean, it's a give and take situation. I don't know. <laughs> Next up, we have a favorite of mine. I already have a backup of this and I will be purchasing more. This is the Innisfree Intensive Hydrating Cream with Green Tea Seed Facial Cream. This is one of my all-time favorite moisturizers. So inexpensive too. It's like $30, I think. <laughs> um, but essentially, this is super hydrating, super gentle. I love the fragrance of it. This one's like almost out. Um, I discovered this one this summer and I couldn't recommend it enough. On the days where I feel like just doing the bare minimum, I will put a thin layer of this on my skin, go to bed, and my skin feels so, so wonderful the next morning. So, and it's free, a must try. Next up is probably one of my all-time favorite moisturizers and it's funny because it's technically an anti-aging product. But my all-time favorite moisturizer is the Caudalie Premier Crew The Cream. Now, on a first look, this is an anti-aging product, but um, I think it has so many amazing benefits. Caudalie has actually worked with Harvard on this product to create a TET-8 patented technology, which is so amazing for your skin. It's got hyaluronic acid, it's got venefrin, and this product is supposed to target um, skin elasticity, dark spots, wrinkles. Um, it's aimed to enhance the radiance of your skin, and so although it's targeted for anti-aging, I think these are all things I want on my face. And that is one of the reasons why I think that this product is not only for the people who are looking for anti-aging products, but if you're young, like me, um, 
it really really does wonders for my skin and I use a very thin layer of this you really only need the tiniest amount of this um, it truly truly is so hydrating is calming on my skin it does make my skin literally look radiant I love it so much and if you're someone who already uses this then my recommendation for the Sephora savings event is to get the refill so something that Caudalie has been really awesome in is creating a refill system so essentially I've had this um, container now for oh my god a year now um, and simply all I do is I take out my container you can see there swap it out with a new one it clicks back in and there I go. I don't have to buy another glass container. I don't have to throw it out. Um, I can just simply recycle the plastic um, empty. So yeah, that's great. So if you already have this, then my recommendation for the savings event is to get a refill because it is my favorite. To go along with the Premier Crew <laughs> would be the serum. Again, so hydrating, so gentle. I also love the fragrance of this range. It is probably one of my favorite scents out of all my skincare products. Um, super, super wonderful. Again, it's gonna have all of those great benefits that the cream has, and it's just, oh, life changing. I tell you, I'm telling you, the Premier Crew, whether you're 20 or 50, try it out, it's so good. Now, I have never been a like face mask girl just because if I'm gonna spend 20 minutes of my day or more sitting there waiting for something to dry on my skin, I better see results, and honestly, with most masks, I just, I don't see the results. Except this gal, she is mighty. This is the Dermalogica Multivitamin Power Recovery Mask. This feels like it just renews my skin. My skin feels hydrated, my like redness gets evened out. My skin feels super, super glowy. Um, now you do feel a little bit of tingling when you um, use this mask, which I'm like, ugh but it is truly so, so great. So although I don't typically use masks, this is the one that I will take the 20 minutes to sit and leave it like do all the good things on my skin. Um, truly, truly, truly worth every penny. Love this mask. This has been a new discovery for me and I am so glad that I discovered this product because I deal with dry skin, I have eczema and it loves to flare up and it just becomes really itchy um, and uncomfortable and I mean if you have eczema you will know the feeling. Um, I do have a medication for eczema but it's really really strong and honestly I'm not a big fan of it. But this has been a new discovery. This is the Topicals Like Butter Hydrating Mask. This is for dry, sensitive skin. So it is targeted if you have like dry and um, eczema prone skin. Um, and it's funny because it looks like butter. It really does look like melted butter. I will put it on my hand here for you guys to see. It truly does look like melted butter. I'm gonna put it on my hand. Um, and this has been a new discovery. But honestly, I just put a light layer of this on all my little um, eczema patches. You can see here my eczema patch. It's actually going away. But what I like to do is I'll put a super, super small layer on this and I'll just leave it. Um, and especially if I'm out and about, it really calms it down. Um, and again, you can use this on more than just eczema, but it is such a great discovery. Honestly, couldn't recommend it enough. It's got such great ingredients. It's made with turmeric, rhubarb, ginseng. It's just awesome ingredients but yeah new discovery um haven't really heard anyone talking about this brand and i don't know i'm just really glad i discovered it so if you're someone who's struggling with dry skin highly recommend checking this brand out i know they have other products as well but this is the only one i've tried and last but not least this is the product that i have everywhere in my house in handbags and bags in my living room my kitchen my dressing room my bedroom um this is the caudalie um beauty elixir this is a setting spray it's a hydrating mist it is honestly wonderful i love to use this throughout the day when my skin starts to feel a little bit tight um it is so so hydrating mm. It also just has the most like relaxing scent ever. It's got essential oils in here. So if you do get this product and you see like a little line of oil at the top, don't, don't panic. It hasn't gone bad on you. It's just that this product has essential oils in it, which make it smell so, so wonderful. Um, it's truly my favorite. My mom actually has started using this as a setting spray because she finds it really, really hydrating and she finds it just makes her makeup look really, really nice. Um, I just use this as a refresher because my skin gets dry throughout the day, but um, absolute must have. One of my favorite products, I have it everywhere. So that is skincare. Let's move on to makeup. Let's get into this. <laughs> the first makeup product in this video is gonna be my Say Super Glow Gel. Is that what it's called? 
glowy super gel and this is in the shade sun glow i use this all summer long i used it as a base it is so glowy makes your skin look so healthy and on days where i really don't feel like wearing makeup um this is what i reach for it is so nice the fragrance isn't like aggressive i find a lot of like products like this can be really aggressive with the fragrances um but this smells really nice it almost smells like it almost smells like roses i would say quite honestly it's really really nice but yeah I use this either on its own or mix it in with my makeup and it is just amazing. <laughs> Next up, we have a foundation. Now, if you have been on this channel for some time, you will know that I am a skin tint, super light coverage base type of gal. But I have officially found a foundation that I love. And I'm actually wearing it today. And like, it looks like my skin it looks so natural <laughs> my foundation recommendation would be the giorgio armani luminous silk perfect glow flawless foundation this is it right here now this is truly looks so 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 natural um i have been told that you can obviously build it up to like a higher coverage i haven't done that because i, I don't want a higher coverage i honestly put a really thin layer on with my beauty blender and it looks beautiful. It looks like skin, it feels like skin. There are a lot of foundations that although they look natural, they look like they're sitting on top of your skin. And that is, that is a foundation red flag for me. If my products are sitting on top of my skin, uh-uh, it's not gonna cut it, absolutely not. This really does look like skin and yeah. And it's pricey, so if you can save a little bit on it, do so. The Luminous Cell Foundation honestly is popular for a reason. It is truly wonderful. Now, because I don't use a lot of, you know, high coverage foundations, I am a concealer junkie. So I use a lot of concealer and I have two favorites that I would honestly recommend and will be purchasing during the Sephora savings events. The first one is the Dior Forever Skin Correct um, concealer. This one is great. It looks like skin. I would say it's got like a medium coverage. And again, on days where I want my makeup to look really, really natural, this is the concealer that I use. And this is a concealer that I buy to be a like perfect color match to my skin. Um, honestly, so, so great. Well, absolutely be repurchasing this. Um, it's amazing. I don't really hear anybody talking about this one. Um, yeah never heard anyone talk about this one but it's really really good i love it next is a concealer that i have used for some time and i have gone through multiple bottles but this is the rare beauty concealer now i use this one specifically as like a brightening highlighting concealer um, because i don't find it actually covers my dark circles um, it has a very lightweight consistency so i get this one in a really light shade you will see that it's quite a lot lighter than my dior concealer this is just my like brightening concealer and i absolutely love it in fact i'm almost running out of this one time to get a new one um, but yeah if you're looking for a really lightweight brightening concealer that you can mix in with your other concealers i could not recommend the rare beauty concealer one of my all-time favorites absolutely love it another product that i use a ton in my makeup routine is bronzers and i have two that i have come to love this year and again would highly highly recommend the first one is my merit um, foundation stick now this is kind of like a multi-use product you can use it as concealer foundation contour I use it as a bronzer slash contour product and my shade in this is chestnut now the logo is completely um like scratched off on this it doesn't have you say merit it doesn't anymore um but it is one of my favorite products it blends in so beautifully it's very natural and the color chestnut like as i mentioned is honestly the perfect shade for me so it's not muddy it's not like too contoury it's not too orangey um absolutely love it couldn't recommend this enough been using it for years you girls who have been around for a while you'll know <laughs> next up is a new discovery for me now it's funny because i always tell this because the first time i ever tried this product i hated it absolutely hated it it was splotchy on me and that was user error okay not product error user me as in i was the user um, but this is the NARS Laguna Bronzer in the original shade. I believe this is shade two. Um, and this is the perfect dupe for the Chanel, um, tan de Chanel. It is a perfect shade and I have come to love this. It looks so natural. It's such a beautiful shade and they have recently, um, extended their shade range. So you'll be able to find your shade in this product, which is awesome. Um, like I said, a bit of a dupe, which no one talks about, but I love it. I've used this. I used it throughout the entire summer. I'm using it today and it blended beautiful on top of the Armani, um, foundation. 
truly truly awesome next is setting powder um now this is funny because this is actually one that i i didn't purchase it actually i got it with like my 100 sephora points um i did it on the whim i was like the girl was like oh like do you want to get anything with your points and i was like sure i was like how's the setting powder and she's like it's amazing like you will love it so i was like okay fine put it in the bag and I got it and this is like my third container now. So this is the Makeup Forever um, Ultra HD Micro Finishing Loose Powder. This truly makes your under eyes like so smooth. Um, I put this on with a damp beauty blender and then I will just like wipe off the excess with a brush. Absolutely amazing. I haven't used anything else. I used to use a Laura Mercier one, but I find this one to be a million times better. Um, haven't been able to move away from this. I think it's because it's so finely milled. It's wonderful. My only complaint with this that it does, uh, oh, what's it called when like setting powder is like flash back with camera flashes? Um, you know what I mean. You girls will know. <laughs> um, it does that. So if I'm ever like going out, say to like a club or something, and I know that there's going to be like flash photography, I, I won't use this just because it does give that like flashback, which is a bit of a bit of a nuisance, but still an amazing powder and I love it. Now, blush. If you follow me, you will know that I'm not a lover of blush. I don't want rosy cheeks, honestly. I've just, I've learned that I don't like it um, until I discovered this. This is like a bright orange blush and I love it. This has a really, really like minimal glow to it. It gives me that bronzed glow um, without making me look like I have like pink or red or purple cheeks. I've tried every blush under the sun and they ne I never like how they look on me. I feel like I look crazy with like a colored blush on my face, but this blends really beautifully with my bronzers. It just makes me look like I've been out under the sun all day long and I love it. So um, the shade is 004 Coral. If you are someone who doesn't like blushes, try this one out. You might like it because I love it. <laughs> Last but not least in makeup, I guess this could fall under skincare as well. Um, but this is the Ilia Lip Wrap Reviving Balm. This has been glued to my side since the first day that I tried it. It is actually what I'm wearing on my lips right now. Um, it is super, super glossy while still being a lip balm. And I'm a gloss girl. I love having those like supple, glossy looking lips. That's my favorite thing. Um, this gives it to me. So I have had this like in every jacket pocket, jean pocket, um, handbag, like everything. It's been with me since um, this summer and I love it. Truly couldn't recommend enough. It is already in my cart and I will be purchasing this because so good oh my god literally amazing so that's it for makeup the last category is going to be just some like miscellaneous items um because I've, I've got a few <laughs> the first one is going to be a product that i have used since high school i remember i think my mom got me this in like my stocking the one year and i've really never purchased anything else so this is the sephora collection solid brush and sponge cleaner now this is the old model it'll look a little bit different when you buy it in store now but i can confirm it smells the same it looks the same um they've just like repackaged it <laughs> they've gone through several repackages this is like the second or third one that i've gone through and now they're like on a new one um so don't be alarmed it's the same product just they change the packaging all the time um but what i love about this is that it is a solid cleaner which means you can travel with it um, it also smells so wonderful and it comes with a little like rubber brush cleaner which makes it the perfect on the go little kit um, what I'll do is when I'm in the sink I will like get my brushes wet I'll dip it in the solid cleaner I'll kind of get this a little bit wet and I'll just clean my brushes on here you could use it for sponges as well and it is just the perfect little on the go kit I love it honestly I don't talk about this much because I don't really talk about how I clean my brushes, but this is what I use and I've used it for years. It's been like at least six years of me using this product. It's just, it's my go-to and super inexpensive. It's, it's awesome. Next up, we have a favorite fragrance of mine. Now I couldn't decide between the two fragrances that I love from this brand, um, but I have chosen the more um, season appropriate scent. So this is the Replica by the Fireplace fragrance one of my all-time favorite fragrances i've used quite a bit of it um and it's just such a unique fragrance it's sweet but it's not like annoyingly sweet if you know what i mean it's got notes of vanilla and it literally just smells like you're by the fireplace in a good way though not like a gross way um it's so amazing such a unique fragrance and i always get complimented on this one when i use it um 
Replica is one of my favorites. Also, everything is unisex. Um, I feel like when a fragrance is unisex, that's like A plus for me, like green flag. It's all the positive things. Um, I feel like I feel like fragrances that are like gender don't make sense to me anymore. I feel like that's so like in the past, you know? <laughs> now, my hair is something that I take lots and lots of good care of. My hair is honestly really important to me. And I discovered this product early on this year and it's, I love it. See if you can guess it in the comments. Um, but my next recommendation would be the Pureology Color Fanatic Multitasking Leave-In Spray. This has, as per the bottle, 21 essential benefits. Um, but this is essentially gonna be a detangler, it's gonna be a heat protectant, it's gonna be it's gonna prevent any frizz and it's gonna make your hair shiny. You can so it's kind of like a like a post styling hair oil sort of. Um, it really does everything. Um, and I just I love this because I do have very frizzy hair. I will spray this in my hand um, and just kind of run it through my ends and my hair, and it just makes it super super shiny. It's what I put in my hair today after I finished styling it. Just a favorite of mine. I did have someone ask me if I use this um, solely as a heat protectant and my answer to that is no because I have a heat protectant that I really really love which is my Jisoo um, Heat Me Treat Me Complete Me Propolis Infused Heat Protecting Spray. In fact, I'm almost out so it's time to repurchase um, but the reason I love this is that it's really really lightweight it's not oily it's not greasy um, and my hair doesn't tend to react well to a lot of products prior to like styling so straightening blow drying um, so the fact that this is really lightweight is really really nice it doesn't impact the way in which my um, hair holds styling which is great um, it also smells so so good um i really love jisoo honestly i think it's a great brand and this is probably one of my favorite products by then so i'll definitely be repurchasing this last but not least is a product that i have recently really really recently discovered um and that's only because i've only recently started like blow drying my hair but this is the jvn complete blowout styling milk um it looks like this um but like i said my hair doesn't react well to a lot of products um, especially prior to styling but this one really 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 does make my hair super like shiny and silky Ooh. shiny and silky looking um, when I blow dry my hair I only use one pump of this it does say to use one to two pumps in hand I find less is more with this I do one pump I run it through my wet hair um, it makes my hair looks so so shiny um, it the scent is okay I don't, I don't care for the scent. Honestly, I feel like these two have better fragrances than this one, um, but the product itself is good. That's the next product. All right, guys, so that is all of my Sephora savings event recommendations, and honestly, I'll be repurchasing a lot of these. Um, I really, really hope you guys enjoyed this video, and let me know what you guys will be buying during the Sephora savings event, because I would love to know but i was so so happy to share these items with you i hope i didn't leave anything out there are so many products that this year really have changed the game for me so i hope i didn't leave anything out but yeah anyways if you guys enjoyed this don't forget to give it a thumbs up but also don't forget to subscribe and i will leave my instagram up here for you guys to follow along there as well but anyways i will see you guys in my next video bye Mwah.